All right, so we've taken a look today at the, the technology behind VSOX. We've taken a look in, into the platform itself. Um, now let's, let's take a step back. Let's zoom out a little bit and understand what is around this whole thing, the organization, the business behind it. And one of the most important things to do here is to understand the differences that we have between an IT SOC and a VSOC. Because one of these things, or the VSOCs themselves, are actually still separated. We still don't have a combined common, v or common security operations center. And today I have Giuseppe with me. We're going to talk a little bit about these topics. Giuseppe, would you please introduce yourself, sir? Sure. So, Giuseppe Zerio. And I'm the VP of Market Development here at Upstream, also in charge for various uh, strategic initiatives. Awesome, Giuseppe. Thank you. So one of one of the biggest things is that in our organizations these days we we have the traditional IT SOC, right? And now comes this VSOC. How do these things fit together, or do they fit together? Well, I think um, we should look at uh, the differences. I would say. So there's three major, there's maybe more, but I would see three major. One is the maturity of a VSOC versus an IT SOC. The second is about the nature. So what is done in a VSOC versus an IT SOC. And the third one is probably about the evolution of the VSOC, what it stands for, what it should do, what it could do, and eventually also uh, looking at uh, the new attack surface that is coming to us. So on those three items, maturity. Um, maturity, and I think it's, it's fair to say it's still in the infancy. Mm -hmm. It's a new thing still, but we're learning rapidly. The industry is learning rapidly. And one thing to uh, take into consideration is it's not just about the product. We talk all the time about vehicle SOC. Actually, it's a smart mobility SOC because you have apps, you have different use cases that surround that vehicle. So in order to protect it, you need to have a 360 degree view at it and not just looking at the, uh, at the vehicle. That's one. The second is the nature. So in an IT SOC, for the most part, you know, the famous uh, CIA triad, right? Confidentiality, integrity, availability. Mm -hmm. Well. At the end, in IT SOC, you would look at confidentiality because you don't want things that are uh, corporate to get outside. And also, the things that are monitored are within a certain parameter. Now, in the last years, we have learned how to deal with it in home offices, yet still the people work for organizations. So it's the devices uh, that, and the tools that interact with the business. So it's a cohesive, closed parameter. That's not the case in the VSOC, because there, even a rumor may be a big threat, because we don't know how to fix it. Or if we do it, it may take a very long time. So it's a total different mindset that is needed in order to address it. And the third is, how about the evolution? So how will this evolve over time? Now, today we're looking at cybersecurity only. But I challenge that we definitely know, as of today, all the use cases for cyber. Many of them are not related to cyber. Maybe they are, if we look at the context of it. And that's why my personal take is I always talk in terms of anomalies. So what is an anomaly? Is it a cyber attack? Is it something that is misbehaving? Or someone tampering with it? Because again, we're talking about the nature. So people have physical access to vehicles. They could do something physically. Or they can come over the internet. Mm -hmm. Yet, they operate in the wild. So, it's more a mindset of how to build resiliency rather than, hey, I know exactly how to protect things. Very interesting. And you, we talked about the IT and the VSOCs. Do, do we think we'll ever get to a point where a VSOC and an IT SOC come together? into the same tooling and strategy and everything? Wow, that uh, is something that maybe could happen in 10, 15 years. Uh, effectively, if you take what's happened with the vehicle, uh, a piece of metal, 
now building software around it and some companies have even flipped it around so taking software and building metal around it we're getting more and more software into the vehicle what does it mean um at the end of the day it's a mobile computing platform that happens to have wheels yeah so it's also again a total different mind mindset that we need to have it, definitely I, I totally agree and the, the reason i asked this question is because you know, there's IT and there's VSOC, right? Product and IT related um, operation centers currently. But part of this is because the processes are different and the decision making is different. We tell, let's talk a little bit about that. What's the difference here between our processes and decision making between these two elements? In the IT world, you have IT people looking at it. If we talk in terms of a product, you have people from the engineering development world who never used to talk to IT in regard to a product mm -hmm. now they have to and sometimes it's even for the first time so how do you communicate how does someone from the IT understand the product and vice versa it's it's a it's a journey and to your question at some point it will become also OT but it will take time maybe 10 15 years and uh, totally agree with you i don't think you can secure something unless you understand the way it works right you know understanding what's going on in the environment it operates that's okay we we can understand that with operate uh, with operation centers uh but understanding the solution what might work or what might not work and understanding the product how it should behave if you don't have this competency you can't really make good decisions or understand what's going on. Absolutely. Let's look a few years back. The first instinct talking about cybersecurity, and there was no regulation that is affecting the business right now. What happened is, okay, let's use IT tools to solve an OT problem, which is totally new and everyone struggling with. So uh, that's part of, of the journey. That's part of uh, the challenges that needs to be mastered as an industry as a whole. And right, you mentioned the tools now. So what, what are the tools, what difference do we have between IT and VSOC uh, regarding tools? I think it comes down to purpose. So what is the purpose of an IT tool? It's looking at this CIA thing that I was mentioning. Now, again, in the context of mobility, you need to reason and understand different things. That's why a purpose-built approach needs to to be based on on the things and the context that happens around that part of mm -hmm. uh, of the ecosystem yeah I totally agree with you just happy um but the thing is do do we see that these two separate entities which actually have the same goals right um, an it sock and a v sock we have the same goals in both entities um do we do we see these two coming together? Is there ways that they need to collaborate? I mean, a, a product, a VSOC itself, looks at the product, and the IT SOC is looking at the infrastructure behind it. How do these two collaborate to, to make sure that we have a secure environment? I think uh, we heard today that it's about uh, people process technology. So where it comes together is the processes. So how does the business talk uh, between the different functions. Um, sometimes it's really important to not only look at IT and uh, development, it's also because uh, if, if an attack happens, it's about brand reputation mm -hmm. that you want to protect. So it's the quality uh, division that needs to talk. So I would advocate for as a company, as an organization, as an OEM or a tier one, whatever it is that is playing in that ecosystem, to have a very open approach. We always say, let's design security in DevSecOps. It's really hard because we are uh, evolving something that uh, we do not have the experience like in the IT SOC, which is out there for 20 years and it's not evolving as fast. Mm -hmm. Take uh, electrification. I mean, that's new and nobody dealt with the text that could be possible there or over the update uh, or others. It's totally new and, and the speed at which these new things are coming into the industry is something that really involves a collaborative effort, uh, effort not only from this uh, single organization, but also as an industry, because the, the, the learnings are really important to scale uh, that knowledge. Uh, 
amazing. I, I love this stuff. And VSOX and IT security socks, um, we have the same goals that, like you said, we're, we're running a little bit differently, right? The IT socks have been there for some time now. They have mature processes, understanding, and, and really typical workbooks, so to say. So they, they understand exactly how to react to a lot of things. They have the experience. And now we have the VSOC coming up. It's just starting. We're starting to, to understand what it means, how to understand, or how to identify and, and be a part of the ecosystem. So um, really cool stuff. Can you tell me one thing about what you see for the future between IT socks and VSOC? Over the last couple of years in the IT SOC, what made them effective? Because you can't deal with hundreds of thousands of uh, events it's the ability to automate. We are not yet there in the automotive world because we need first to understand new things that never were there. And now we need as a next step to consider how to automate those things that today maybe are manual. Yeah? So that, that's the evolution. And in terms of IT, you do not take care so much or it's not the, the most important thing to look at safety because people operate it it can happen uh, harm to people right and property so safety and security need to go in hand with the ability to automate to an extent that uh, the right decisions are taken I'm with you there and I, I agree the whole thing is to stabilize first of all your processes methods and tools then you improve them, right? To make sure that whatever you set up in the beginning is still meeting those goals. And of course, the third thing is to automate, right? To reduce the effort and increase the quality. So totally, totally aligned, totally aligned. <laughs> I'm with you there. Thank you so much, Giuseppe. Really a pleasure always. It's my pleasure.